Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play <clears throat> Sonic Frontiers. Yep, sorry, still a little phlegmy, but I'm doing better. Okay, it is time for one of the most annoying puzzles in this game. So, yeah, each of these tombstones, there's four tombstones, and they can each be moved. But each one will move at least one of the other ones. Yeah. So, there is, as you can see, there is... So, so if we move that that way, good. Okay. Let's see. If you're very careful, you can get these, uh, they, yeah, they're very... Okay, what happens if I... Does that even move the right way? I don't think it is. Uh... If you're not careful, you can accidentally... Um... moving them in the wrong direction. Let's see. Alright. Ugh. Yeah, this is the... Uh, if you're not careful, you can actually get these desynced, which can soft lock you, or make it easier to solve the puzzle. Okay. This is the only way to move this one, is the thing. So... Get that set up first. Okay. Now, there's two ways. This moves that one and that one. And this moves... Oh, wait. I'm wrong. Okay. Still. Okay. Those two are... Those two are set. Alright, this moves both of those. So, as long as those two are slaved together, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oy. Yeah, mostly what a lot of people do is just mess around with them until... It show until it gets... until it's right. Which, you know, I'm sure there's an actual way to figure it out. But I don't know what it is. Alright, well, let's see. Okay. And there we go. Sometimes this can take a lot longer to figure out than others. In this case, it took us about four minutes. That's actually pretty good. Short match if I can't find the last Chaos Emerald, though. I searched everywhere I could. I'm out of ideas. So where is it? Eh, maybe I'll find it along the way. 
Well, remember what the young lady said, Sage. We know her name now. Uh, she said, what you seek is already in its what presence. What you? Makes me think of the falls and mystic ruins. Yep. That one you'll pretty much always get. Come over here. And now we are jumping this way. And here we go. Oh wow, what a great day for this. Hey, it's Godzilla! Air boost. I will admit that this bit doesn't look quite as good on the Switch, but oh, I don't care. It's still amazing. Ooh, he has so many teeth. Apparently that's what Mark Hamill said upon being shown the uh, cartoon version of the Jokers the first time. Reach Giganto's head to transform into Supersonic. Uh, if you do not have full rings at this point, grind them! Because what we get to do now is Shadow of the Colossus as a hedgehog! Yeah, Shadow of the Hedgehogus. Hold the... Yep, there we go. Careful, careful. There we are. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I can pull this off. <sighs> I mean, obviously I've beaten this fight before, but I haven't been talking. And some of the uh, quick time events I have issues with. Supersonic doesn't take damage, but rings will be lost as the battle goes on. The key to this battle is to efficiently deal heavy damage. Using Sonic's knowledge and techniques, defeat the enemy. This is not a standard Supersonic fight. You can do any of the combat shit you've unlocked. And in fact... If I pull this off, can I do it? Yes! You can siloop him! And in fact, I could siloop him again and it would knock him to the ground, but... Tell me that isn't cool. Keep your eyes on him. And, of course, the Grand Slam. Which, you know, lets you do Kage Bunshin. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's the only problem. Oh, uh, well, that that's a minor issue, is that sometimes you do flip through the uh, giant. Just keep whack lighting him. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a... If it never gets the chance to tell you that previously... A visual effect, sort of a squiggle, runs between the enemy and you, and that means parry it. Because you have to know a parry's coming. Yes, you can hold. You don't have to time it, but you do have to know it's coming. So I do appreciate... <laughs> oh, hell, this bit. Oh, 
Oh, good. I'm not good at quick time events. Or the button mashing events. those. Luckily, with this guy at least, you do not, um, you don't die if you fail it. Good. Good. Yep, he'll do that, and if you fail that one, he will eat you. So, yeah. Right. You said Titans earlier, plural. Darn it. I guess this isn't over until I bop all the big bots. Sorry, Amy. I'm feeling more like my old self. It's working. Keep going and don't keep me waiting. I'll be back before you can do a fortune card reading. See ya! Yeah, a little, uh, reference to Sonic CD. So, yeah, you know how I've said, mentioned that this game sort of brought home to me that I'm, to some extent, a disabled gamer? The only way I can mash fast enough to get those quick time events is to use the knuckle of my index finger. And... Whap it. I c li physically cannot hit a button fast enough with my thumb. Whoa. Hedgehog down! Hedgehog down! Ouch. Ah, oh, that's cool. I didn't want this to be easy anyway. Search for friends. Okay, welcome to Island 2, Ares Island. Ahead of us, you will see one of the more annoying minor enemies in the freaking game. Oh god, that guy is a pain in the ass. Might as well show him off. So, he doesn't seem that big of a deal, except, of course, for the... If you hit the if you hit the uh, red guys, they explode and you get hurt. So you're probably saying, Pen, what's the big problem with that guy? Well, anytime you run past him, the fucker steals your camera, and basically you can only you know you might be doing anything else, but you will be looking solely at him, which is kind of annoying. And we can hit that and go up here. I do love the music here. Oh, look. Knuckles, what are you doing here? Y never mind, I'll get you out. Hang on. Yeah! Knuckles is here. Uh, 20 more. Okay, so you need 30 to get old Knucklehead out of his prison. Knuckles is in an unstable state. We knew that. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, uh, Nux here, um, he actually got a an entire prologue. You want to stomp this dude, by the way. Alright. 
uh, Knuckles got an entire prologue de devoted to how he winds up out here, and it's really cool. It's animated. Um, the designs are by Tyson Hess, who's, you know, res responsible for a lot of this. Might as well start filling in the map while we're here. Thank you. Let's see. That big dude is... We got 15 more minutes, so... Pick up a nice seed. Ugh, those assholes. So, on this island, the regular soldier enemies, the ones we've dealt with before, they now, uh, will shield. Uh, you know what? Yeah, did you see that squiggle? It told you that this dude was about to take a shot at us. While I'm here, I want to check my skill tree. What have I got unlocked? Okay, Stomp Attack and Wild Rush, which I should have been using. Cool. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if I'll deal with that big jerk today. Probably not. I'll wait until after I get... I might do that tomorrow. Those... Yeah, those, um... The spring enemies... Wow, I'm kind of impressed I did that. Okay. Yeah, the spring enemies, you just stomp on them. They're fine. Oh, hey, portal key. That's a knight one. And here, of course, we have some Coco. And the hermit, who probably will give us some more upgrades. No, no. I, apparently, I don't have enough seeds. It's not one-to-one -one at this point. Well, hey. Right. And now, okay. So, yeah. Now, with these, you have to go through them in order. If you miss one, and don't go back for the one you miss, they all disappear. So, that's, that's a thing to keep in mind. So, well, Ares Island. Ares Island is one of those that's very... Very... Hmm. Uh, it, it, it's easy to get sidetracked into doing shit. Okay, you're pissing me off, dude. Fucker just sniped me right in the middle of my... It's like I was doing shit. Right. Well, if we come this way... That's what I mean! This asshole just takes control of your camera. Now, you don't have to fight him. You can just... You can't ignore him. But... You get stuff. So... Let's see here. Might as well come this way. There's a portal up there, which is nice, but... There's also this stuff, so... So yeah, those guys can be really kind of annoying. And we get that. Alright. Not quite ready for old Knucklehead. Let's see, come out here. Just sort of look around and you'll see stuff. Like springs. Ouch. Just follow the. If you follow the rings around, you'll mostly avoid the fricking spikes. Unless, of course, you're an idiot like me. Alright, well, I'm back up to full rings. Let's see. Just grab some crap up here. Thank you. Let's see. Where's the 
sun. Okay. It's mostly a question of can I do I dare do a portal or will it be night when I get out? Well, you know what? We've got enough nu of tokens. We should probably just go back and do Nux before we actually do any portal stuff. Not that we have to, but we probably should. Yeah, that's how you get... That's how you're kind of supposed to get up here. From that thing. You're ignoring... Uh, I'm gonna give you a bit of a wide berth right now because I don't want to fight you because you're a jerk. Let's see. We'll fight you. Because these guys are usually a very easy source of experience. And hey, we can unlock something. Our choices are... Auto combo, which I do not like. I only get that at the very end just to have everything. Or quick siloop, which is extremely useful. Especially for fighting certain jerks. So. Okay. So you have to wait until you've got... Um... Have to wait until you've got a blue combo meter, and uh, you can't be. You have to be in the middle of a combo. So if you've just done one of those combo finisher moves, it won't work. But once you do that, you press X. There's knuckles. There's knuckles. Okay. Yeah, there's so much stuff here. Ares Island is probably the best of the islands in terms of design. Because it didn't get split up into multiple parts like Kronos, and it doesn't have the bullshit of uh, Third Island. Chili dog eating grin. Some rescue. I'm still half ghost. <laughs> I'm working on it, okay? What's going on with you? Uh, just a little side effect of the island's weird energy. What are you doing so far from home? I was investigating some strange ruins when I was transported here, then got trapped. Never a dull moment with you. Just bring me up to speed. Listen, help me find the Chaos Emerald so I can beat up some big robots. You'll be free and back to guarding the Master Emerald in no time. Sounds like a plan. This bit. Most of the body language is actually really good, but Cyclone Kick. That's you nice. Are the key. Be empowered with this technique. Okay, we will do that. Yep. Alright. And I think, sure, why not? Um, first of all, we'll check. Oh, good, it's night. Uh, let's see then. We're heading for the Hermit, Coco. Because, remember I said there was a... Whoops. Yeah, screw it. I'll just do it later. Yeah, there's a, there's a nighttime puzzle. 
here. It's one of these. And it's nice to just... There's like usually two nighttime puzzles per island. And if you're in the area when it's night, or getting close to night, it's just nice to get them out of the way. Five more minutes, so I think I might as well just let's just take this asshole on. Strider, not Hiryu and not Aragorn Sanvarathorn. To kill this idiot, you jump on here. You boost around the rings. You do not need to jump. You will be transported automatically from one ring to the next as soon as you fill it up. Congratulations, this may be the first time you've actually hit me on this phase, dude. We'll use our new Cyclone Kick. While doing a combo, hold Y. Yeah, if you've upped your attack enough, as we have, he dies pretty quickly. Otherwise, eventually he will kick you away for a second, harder phase. And that second phase is a pain in the ass. The second phase, basically, he starts shooting, um... balls of energy around. All right, well, well, let's, let's see. I've got a few minutes left, so I think maybe we will go to that portal. Oh, we'll do this first. You know, because we're here. That's, like I said, ADHD catnip. Well, we'll do this, because we're here. Just be ready to hit homing attacks. And we get this. Nice. Alright, so, let's see. There's all sorts of stuff we could do right now. But yeah, I think we will go for that first. <laughs> um, we'll go for that first one. This is not actually going to take us there, I just picked the wrong thing. Yeah, you don't actually have to do this, stupid... Ow. There we go. Right. So we'll check out this portal, and then I'll call it. Oh god, I love the dawn. Uh, one of the things this game did do is borrow Sonic Force's lighting engine, and it is amazing. They actually wanted to do day-night transitions as far back as Sonic 06. But they couldn't, they didn't have the time to get it to work. You can actually see the day-night transitions in the overworld in a demo. So, yeah. Okay. Oop, shit. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna get all the red rings this time. Come on. Back. Good. Yeah. There we go. All 
Alright. So far, so good. And that way. Careful. Okay, that actually was good. We are doing okay so far. Alright, come across here. I don't like these because it's, you know, precision platforming and I'm not good at that, but we made it. Oh, shit! Missed the last red ring! Not even sure where. We're gonna try that again because I think I can find that and that would give us, you know, quite a bit of keys. Alright. So, good news is we don't really have to deal with, don't have to worry about going back to get anything. Yeah, even with all the going back I did, did you see how we got the S rank time? Some of these levels, the S rank is incredibly permissive. And some of it it's not. Some of them it's not. One, two. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so here. No, that was the fourth one. Really? Stupid. There we go. So we come through here, right? Come through here. Good. And... Aha! There it is. Went right past it. That happens. And so I do get to show you what happens when you full clear a stage. Loading, 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 still loading. Go. Yeah, because we've got seven vault keys. So we could go get that Chaos Emerald, but I'm going to call it here. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Sonic Frontiers, and I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Goodbye.